in this video I want to talk about uh, the two very different ways that you can think about art. And then the first way is then you could think about art when you walk into a gallery and you look at a painting on a wall and it, and it moves you or, the, or that, you, that you love and it hits you a certain way. That is a very different than the way that you think when you're creating the art, when you're trying to uh, you know, lay the strokes in and, and trying to decide whether or not you know, your vase looks, looks right or not. And I'm going to give you an example, a visual example of that, that's going to um, hopefully uh, demonstrate this very clearly. Um, imagine that you go into a home movie theater and it has this fantastic, you know, latest technology, um, uh, you know, television screen, big widescreen TV, and the professionals have come in and they've calibrated that TV to display, say, the Godfather uh, movie um, exactly the way Francis Ford Coppola wanted it to be displayed, and it looks fantastic. And you go in and you watch the movie, and then when you come out, I ask you, "How did you like it? How, did, how was uh, you know was the was the picture quality great? Was the movie um, um, beautiful? Uh, was the cinematography good?" And, and you'll say, "Oh, it was wonderful. Took my breath away. Fantastic." And then what we do is we take that television that's been uh, calibrated and set to be uh, uh, perfect as far as the you know, people that, that made the movie uh, decided it should be, and we take it right to a, a big uh, store that sells uh, big screen TVs, and we put it in the lineup with all the 20 or 50 televisions that they have on display. And they've calibrated all those TVs in order to sell them. And here's the, the crazy part, is that if I'd set that TV that you watched in that home movie theater in the lineup with all those other TVs, you'll look at it and think, why is that television broken? And the reason you'll say that is because it'll be so much darker and the colors will not be vivid and uh, because when they put those televisions in, in those um, stores, uh, every one of them, they turn the brightness way up, they turn the contrast up, they turn the vivid colors up, they do all kinds of things, and everybody does something different. But they do that because they know you're going to be in there comparing one TV to another, and if you look at the bright one with bright, vivid colors, you're always going to think it looks better or it has better color than the one that's darker and dingier, even though the dark and dingy one is set to be uh, uh, more of a, a of a beautiful thing. Now, now let me just explain. When I say beautiful, I mean more natural, uh, and at least it's certainly the way um, the director and, and the cinematographers uh, wanted it to be. And by the way, if you can put your um, make sure you're watching this video in full screen mode, and this effect is going to work a lot better. So if you can go ahead and 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 uh, make it make your video in full screen mode before you watch what I'm about to uh, show you. Um, but if you look at this picture here, um, this has been balanced, in my opinion, um, exactly the way it should be. In other words, the, the colors are natural, uh, the exposure is proper, it's not blown out, the, the, everything looks very natural and rich and, in my opinion, um, great. Okay, but then if I take that same picture and I pump it way up, and I'm going to go overboard with it the first time, and just turn it way, way up. And if you look at this picture here, um, and stare at it for a little while, um, and then I go back to the original one, uh, you can see how much dingier that one looks, but that's not even the, the original one. The original one is this one. And now look how dingy that looks. And that's because you've gone from this to this, and who wants to go that dark and that dingy? And that's because your brain works by comparing. And so that's why when they put all these televisions on display, or even if you, you know, just use a, the camera's default settings or most cell phones, they pump the vivid up a little bit and the uh, saturation up a little bit. And if you compare one to the other, you may like it. Because remember, um, you know, when, you, when I first showed you this picture of these plums and the artichoke, you hopefully you you looked at it and you thought, boy, that looks natural and that looks you know wonderful like natural color. But then when I start showing you the vivid pictures and going back to it, it really changes your perspective. So keep that in mind when you're developing pictures in Photoshop or or, or you're you know looking at sources to 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 work from. 
you know, um, I've got other videos that talk about how to, um, you know, develop uh, pictures properly. Um, and, but the, my point is, is that avoid the temptation to just start upping the saturation because, you know, when you walk into a, a museum and you see a painting and you might think, oh boy, those colors look so natural and it's so beautiful, but pull that into Photoshop and you start adding a little bit of vivid color here and a little bit, you know, pumping up the, the, the saturation, um, it, you tend to like it and you tend to want more of it. But what you're really doing is you're just taking it toward more like a, you know, a, a pumped up, you know, Instagram picture or something. Um, and it's not, it doesn't have the natural colors um, that, that, are, that are in the original picture that I took. Anyway, I hope that explains it right. It's, it's sort of a crazy thing. It's just that, you know, what I do is when, when I, when I um, tell people when they're developing their pictures in Photoshop, is just take the slider and slide the exposure slider all the way to the left, um, or, or in Lightroom if you're using Lightroom, um, and start with a dark uh, image and then slide the exposure slider up and as you see it brighten and brighten and brighten stop when you think it looks good as opposed to starting with an overexposed picture that's way too bright and then bringing it down uh, because you'll do better by bringing it up and it's because your brain works by comparing things and um, so I hope that's helpful and uh, we'll see you guys next time and by the way I have my own art supply company right here in Austin Texas and we manufacture all of our own products. We have a whole line of paint and brush holders, palettes, color checkers, all sorts of things. So go check that out if you haven't at GenevaFineArt.com.